and Anthony Delouche I've known for a long time. Like you very much. Really good, really good final table actually. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, five nine there for Jason Mercier. Oh, he's suddenly wow. now he's suddenly now this, this is not is something we've seen before, is it? No, well four-handed, you see. He's gonna start he's gonna start opening up now that the four-handed the right race. thing to do. Good for him. He's set up a table image. Yeah. He's gonna capitalise on it. Eighty thousand. I can't see him getting called unless Anthony Pass, small by pass. Eric calls. Eric 000. Eric Eric's making a mistake here, I think. Yeah. He really is. He's calling just to try to outplay I him. Check. So if you've got aces or, you know, Two players, Eric, check let's the dark. see what happens here. Oh, I hate that. He's checked in the dark again. Flop comes. Yeah. Five, check, six. Jason checks. Jason here checks as well. <laughs> it's an eight. What's Koska's going to do now? 220. 220,000. Betting 220,000 into a pot of 187,000. <laughs> 220,000. Did he say call? call? Oh, well, he's picked up a Jason middle pin. Call. He's picked up a middle pin top. straight with his pair of fives. So he needs a seven or a nine. Well, he actually, as it is, he doesn't actually need anything. Winning. But if he thinks he's behind, that's what he thinks he needs. But exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking in my head too. Board is five. Check six eight. Koskas didn't like that call. And eight. Okay. I'm on in. Eric all. Wow. Eight. Very great. Great strong play there. If Mercier can, if Mercier can pick this up, this is this will be an incredible call. If he can, how much has he got to call here? Seven hundred thousand. And his stack is two point two million and forty-four thousand. So he's, he'll still be left one point three million if he calls and gets it wrong. Has he got a jack in his hand? Has he got an eight? Think it through. He's thinking it through. Checking out his body language, he's looking at, he's looking at Eric. From what we've seen, of his eye. from what we've seen of Jason, do we think he can make this call? I've no idea. Can he get a read oh, on Eric Koskis? I think he thinks his two pair are good here. I think instinctively he thinks his two Six pair are good. But remember that these guys play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hands online. You know. They have a sort of feel for when they might be ahead. What's he got? He's got ace-king. If he's got no pair, then I'm good. Could he have been betting a flush draw? If his instinct is that his two pairs are good, I he's just got to decide whether wow. to trust his oh, instinct, and that's what he does. Showdown. What he's a great call. made the call, and Koskis will show he had absolutely nine nothing. Nine that is an yeah. absolutely yeah. excellent call. He went with his instinct, he made yeah. the call, and he's eliminated Eric Koskis. He has. It's a brilliant call. It's a brilliant, brilliant call. There's no doubt or doubt about it. It's a brilliant, brilliant call. The Frenchman is out of the tournament. There is fan, there's his fan, fan club there. That's a great call there, James. A really, really brilliant call. I mean, poor Eric. He, doesn't, he just doesn't see how he can make this call. But it was a great, great call. Koskis will collect 223,600 euros. Jason Mercier is now chip leader. We are down to three. Ever closer to crowning a new champion on the EPT. <laughs>